know there's some risk in saying this, but now the American people understand it. We have got to strengthen rather than weaken the intelligence community of this country. You know, I was in Iowa in 1980, covering it when I was on radio. And uh, I was at that downtown hotel where Bush was staying. Bush we got on the elevator the day that morning and he said, I've got the big mo, <laughs> the big momentum. Nearly half of Iowa's Republican caucuses are held in private homes. This one a mile and a half east of Elkhart in Nancy Huxford's kitchen. I kind of like that Reagan, but I think he's too old. As the 1980 caucus vote began compiling at Republican Party of Iowa headquarters, Bush took an early lead and declared victory. The impossible dream, the asterisk on all these polls just four months ago. Bush, 110, Reagan, 38. So George Bush is clearly the favorite here among these Republicans. Reagan was in California, downplaying Iowa. But a straw vote that does not uh, necessarily represent. I talked to my friend Sears, who was an old friend of mine from Nixon days. I said, John, what happened? He said, we got as many votes as we expected. He just got more than we did. One of the interesting things the Reagan people will tell you about 1980 is they think they got cheated in Iowa. 